Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson on how to write research paper in LaTeX. So uh, for this I'm using uh, LaTeX version TechMaker and uh, on top of MakeTech. So you can use any version if you be uh, in whichever you feel comfortable like. So first of all before uh, proceeding further first you have to get the template for the for writing the paper very easily otherwise you can write it on your own also but a template which is already defined which is available on the IEEE site so type in google IEEE latex template you will get IEEE minus templates for conference or journal all kind of will be available simply click on it you will get this page so in this you can see latex archive content so from here you can simply download this windows package so I have already downloaded it on my computer so this is here so I have so if you extract it you will get this file so inside this you can find different for journal conference I have already copied from here so this is this will be there inside the file so this conference file so keep it copy it and keep it the where you want to have the have your file saved so simply copy it and double click on it So so this will be opened so first first of all what you do is don't worry about all these thing what they have wrote what they have written this is simply the comments they have explained all those things the the references and all so simply first run it quick build and see so this is what the output of this current file right now first of all if you want to add the title simply find this bare demo in this file so this will be defined somewhere here in the title so all these things are just the explanations and what are the packages available what all these things are there so this is what the title where the bare demo IEEE for conferences so or else simply you can right click click on jump it will directly bring you here right both are same so first change the title whatever the title of your paper is simply add so a video tutorial on how to write IEEE paper in LaTeX right so now you can see this is our title I have changed it so very easy simply copy and paste your title for your paper this is done now next is add the authors so this you can see now slash author you can see here so this is the predefined one you simply erase this and put your name and you can change your affiliation here whatever you have you can write department of whatever it is of uh, so here this double slash shows uh, uh, the new line so wherever you want to cut it simply put the new line here so that it will take take to the new line so you can see it is changed Mahesh and department of whatever it is all those things you can simply on the same way you can edit all those things and email you can add your email whatever it is abc at gmail.com but if you want to for example your mail id is having some underscore so simply if you put underscore and run it it will definitely give you an error so for that underscore you have to put a slash here backslash then only it won't give you any error so this you have to remember because it is a very common mistake what generally people do now it is not giving any error and give I'm getting the output perfectly so this slash and actually separates two blocks so if you want to add block you can start from slash and if you want to delete you can simply copy it and delete it until the last bracket last but one bracket so I don't want the here there are three I don't want I want only two simply delete it and run it now you can see I have got only two not three now if I have four for example I want to add four authors simply copy it from the and till here copy and paste it here now you can see you will get four so it's up to you depending upon the number of authors you can simply go with that so this is what so this is about the title and the authors section now next part is you have to write the abstract so abstract is here now you can see begin abstract end abstract in between the abstract goes here so simply what you are supposed to do your predefined abstract somewhere wherever you have defined it already simply copy it and paste it here now you see 
nice and easy now pip now the abstract is completely ready very nice looking right so this is what how to write the abstract it is done now next step is writing the sections so section 1 is introduction section 2 maybe something else three maybe maybe four so you can depending upon the number of sections so it is actually divides in the latex divides it into sections so section it may be having a subsection it may be having a sub subsection so depending upon what you feel like so if you want to have section 1 simply section 1 and matter now if you want to write the second section simply write slash section and the second section it will give the second section and inside it you want to make a subsection so copy this subsection and paste it there so i'll show you so i want to write the section so i have some raw data here simply i'll copy this to my section so i'm pasting it here now you can see so now i got the introduction now if i want if i want to add a subsection i'll use this or else simply i make one more new section 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 i want to have a mathematical modeling now if there is some spelling mistake you can check this with this also so now you see so this is first section introduction second is the mathematical modeling so inside this if you want to have a subsection simply use this subsection and put the subsection here modeling whatever it is and paste the subsection text here simply paste it and you see this is modeling inside the subsection so if you want to add one more sub subsection simply this sub subsection is here sub subsection you can add title here any title simply paste some text here this will be the sub subsection of it right now if you want to add the third next section simply add a section section some section 3 like this now this becomes the section 3 so this comes 3 and 4 goes the conclusion it's up to you you can have as many as sections you want as many subsections inside you may be sub subsections accordingly you can finish it up the whole paper in the same manner so i'm just adding for the sake of some text so this is what is about these uh, the text writing and next if you go on you can see the conclusion simply have some conclusion and i'm just pasting the same thing here so this will be the my conclusion and if i want to ha acknowledge anyone i can acknowledge here and we'll see the references a little while later so for now this is how the conclusion and this is how the paper is looking like you can see very nice very neat and clean with the spacing and all everything it adjusts it adjusts itself now inside this for example i want to add an equation i want to write an equation here somewhere so for that you have to write slash begin equation and it will automatically give the end equation so we want to write for example v1 equal to e1 minus i into r now if you run it now you can see you are getting the equation as you have written so similarly if you have some have i have some uh, equation here i have copied it so simply copy it and for example i want to have one more equation so now you see right this is the first equation this is the second one so if you write by using slash begin equation it will give automatically one two as many equations you have it will automatically number the equation and it will adjust accordingly to the space right so this is how and about how to get these symbols and how to get the subscript superscript and how to write all those equations you can refer to google or anywhere just type it and you will get every each and every information how to write everything so all these equations and all so okay these things you can learn from google right now next if you want to insert a figure here right i want to insert a figure here somewhere right now i want to insert a figure here so for that what you are supposed to do is i have to copy i have already copied the text here you can type it if you wish so this is what is the figure so begin figure this is slash t actually this these figures are float generally treated as floats here so this floats means they will float through the text somewhere anywhere so this t slash t symbolizes top right if you want to have the figure where you are exactly pasting the text so simply h you put or if you want to have the figure at the bottom simply put the b and 
one more thing you have to be very sure here is by before defining the figure first thing you have to do is in the preamble preamble means before uh, starting of the begin document there must be a preamble where you are supposed to include the package so there you have to include the package graphics graphics so this is the package you, are, you must include and then and whatever the package you are trying to include figure you are trying to include that figure must be there in the same folder where you are saving your work so here i have a figure one so i can same the this this file and this should these two should be in the same place so the i have a figure one and you can scale it this is a size you can decrease or increase accordingly for your paper accordingly so now you can see i i selected bottom so that's why this figure came at the bottom you can accordingly select the top or you can select here simply put the top now you see now the figure comes on the top you can select h also it will go on the middle where you have exactly chosen so this is h so this is the float this is just floating around the text exactly so that's why these figures and all are called as floats you can reduce the size increase the size this will be automatically adjusting the figure so you can write out that very easily and begin figure centering and include graphics with the scale caption this is the caption of the figure evaluation of lolp or you can type any of the one. and label this thing you have to write anyhow so this is it about the including figures now if you want to include a table for example i have a table here i want to include so for that i have a table here i have already copied one from, from one of my previous works so this is what a table begin table again this is also a float you can include here or on the top or on the bottom and this array stretch gives us the column uh, width i mean row width it will give if you want to increase the row height and all it will change and this is the caption parameters of this and label and this c c c c these symbolizes the number of column how many columns you want and this vertical line is basically uh, the vertical line if you remove this vertical line and it will remove the vertical line from the table also if you want if you don't want a line on the sides you can remove these side lines so these are just like lines you keep or not it will automatically adjust and this h line is the horizontal line between the rows right so this and separates the number of column elements here this is the first element this is in math mode i am writing if you don't want you can simply write in normal way also i have um, v underscore oc so that's why i'm putting them in the math mode so this is the first element second third and fourth of the first row again one two three for the second row like this so if you run it you can see i have got the table see right now if you want to have like if you want to add one more row so simply copy it from here paste it here one more time and now you can see so i'm getting one more extra row right so accordingly number of if you want to include one more column simply put a co c and put this a vertical line or or actually now you will get one more but you have to add every in every row you have to add fifth element also because otherwise it will give you error so i am not doing that that's, that's up to you number of columns and rows you choose and while doing any all this you will if you get any kind of doubt if you are having any problem so just simply type it on the google uh, for everything you will definitely get some help from the google and uh, and that's it and uh, now comes the part of the bibliography so this is what begin the bibliography and this one symbolizes how many bible items are there how many references you want to include so take as many as wish or simply open left it open leave it open otherwise you can type number how many elements you have right so this is what a predefined one so this is the keyword actually you can this is what you have to put it in your text wherever you want to cite this reference so i have some citations i have copied here so this is one item which i have copied already from my work so this by this is what now here you can see this thing 0.5 minus 0.4 em relax so this this thing i have kept it as it is uh, from my 
there because it is giving me a better actually uh, proper look for the my reference so for that reason i have kept this h skipped and all you can also keep it this is already there in the file so this is what my keyword so i wherever i want to refer this paper i have to add this keyword there itself so i'll just copy this keyword and for example i want to add it here i have to write tilde slash site site the second one and i have to paste this dive now you can see if you run it it is not is giving the question mark you have to run one more time now you can see it will you will get one here so for example you want to add one more item simply add i'm just copying it you have to add it but you have to make sure that there should not be any repetition in this keyword key should be different or else i have one more reference here from you can see this is what i have but do i mean while do you doing this you should take care of this that there should not be any repetition between the keywords otherwise this is a, this will create a conflict so this is my keyword i am going to paste it anywhere i want to refer in the text uh, for this paper so simply here i want to add i am just adding here with the keyword tilde slash site site and inside this i will paste this i'll remove this is not giving me what happened mm. oh i have to specify the number i guess Oh sorry, I I made site tab. Sorry, I have to choose the site. I should not choose site tab. I have to choose this. Paste it, remove this, and run it. And this thing you have to be careful that it should be site, not site P. It is a different uh, model. So this is it. This is it. How to about include um, this table? How to include the figure? How to include the equations? And that's it for your paper. and regarding how to include the equations with double lines combined together how to include the tables double line combined together you can refer to once you will get habituated to these things and you will just go type it in the google and you will definitely get help for everything from maybe text text i mean stack exchange or anywhere from the wikipedia somewhere anywhere you will get latex is very well known everywhere you just type it on the google you will get whatever you want right happy Thank you for watching happy researching